class itself that once we the animal kingdom, we can easily go ahead with completing the uh, animal types. So technically, this chapter is you know divided into two parts. One was tissues, just the test of the MXD here. FLT case may I would have attacked you about full mother hundred MCQs while a paper after all it's already the other one that was on tissues and the second half of this chapter is going to include something called as animal types now according to your syllabus for meat um, they have proclaimed that only cockroach is going to be a part of your syllabus so after textbook may have picked a book so this particular part is going to be having three organisms, that is earthworm, cockroach, and frog. In animal types, we have uh, animals ke mein describe described kiya hai. And uh, they have said that questions in your need would be exclusively asked from cockroach. But my dears, for the last uh, you know, three years, since they have uh, proclaimed this, ki cockroach ke upar questions aayenge sir, Every year, up last year, if you have paper, so even last year they had asked two questions from Earthworm. Uske pehle wala agar aap need ka paper dekhte ho, wo time ke toh unhone bhai bataya tha ki sirf cockroach pe aayega. Lekin last to last year also they had asked two questions on frog. So that means though they say that only cockroach is going to be a part of the syllabus, we cannot neglect Earthworm and frog. We can't say if they ask you one or two questions, so no need of going too much into the details of earthworm and frog. But yes, cockroach we have to do in detail because they have already, you know, like it's a part of our need syllabus. Okay, so cockroach detail me dekhenge. Uh, of course, uh, aapko dissections hai abhi college me. Uh, is like you know, no dissections for any of the animals. But anyways. Uh, we'll be doing everything in detail about the cockroach. Some important points about the earthworm and a few important, point, important points about the frog. Okay, so we are going to cover the entire animal types ka part in our uh, need syllabus. Okay, so let us go ahead with the cockroach. So as you all can see, morphology and anatomy of cockroach is something that we have to go ahead with. In the last class, that was for uh, your this one. Mm. Animal kingdom, uh, arthropoda was a part of it. So just quickly have a look at it one more time. It will be a recap for you all. So phylum is arthropoda, kingdom animalia, of course, class insecta, genus periplaneta, and species Americana. So you already know that how the in the living world chapter we have seen the uh, you know hierarchical system of classification. So species, genus, we already seen For class and phylum, ye charu ke baare mein yaha par mention hai. There are two questions on this that uh, the scientific name of cockroaches or the genus name of cockroaches or cockroach belongs to which genera which class, which phylum. So you should be aware of these classification patterns. Okay. What is the systemic position? They are nocturnal. That means they come out during the night. Nocturnal ka matlab aapko pata hai that they come out during the night. Correct. They are omnivorous. That means they can survive. They can, uh, you know, consume any type of food. They are omnivorous. Uh, they live in damp places. Moist and damp places, we will put any color. All of you all have seen cockroaches, it's brown to black, bright yellow, red, and green colored cockroaches are also seen in tropical region in India. Apne gharpe, apne ajbaju me jo cockroach, apne dheke hai, they are generally brown colored, right? But you can see over here, see these are yellow, golden color, and these are green colored also, and they are generally seen in tropical regions. I don't know if you have seen these type of cockroaches, but ye wala apna sabse achcha dost hai. Hai na? This is the one which is seen everywhere around us. Okay. Size will vary from one fourth inch to three inches. That's okay. 
Look at the morphology. The adults are about 34 to 53 millimeters long. Body is covered by a hard brown chitinous exoskeleton. I don't know if you have ever taken a cockroach in your hand. So you can feel a crunchiness in their uh, you know, body. That crunchiness is due to this titanium exoskeleton. Okay. So that is something. Yes, yes. They, they appear like, yeah, kurkure ke jaise, papad ke jaise lagte. Exactly. Right. So that is what they are saying that it is crunchy. Right. I don't know if that's what I said. I don't know if you have held it in your hand. Bada wala kakur jagar kabhi haath mein aega na, to pakad le na bita. And must usko crush kar le. To maz aega. Anyways. So this is what you want to see the first slide. Okay, so this is going to be the first slide. Arthropoda insecta periplanata americana. Uh, where are they present? How are they? And what is their color? Okay, these are important points. These are important points. Once you have done, let me know so I can move to the next one. Cockroach to must have a subjaga milta, a subjaga dekha, a chote se bade, sare dekhe hai. Right? So this is going to be your uh, Periplanata Americana species. Morphology, very simple, yet important. See what is the important point of ALC in each segment. So you, you might have seen the cockroach, which is going to have several segments on its body, right? So in each segment, exoskeleton has hardened plates called as sclerites, okay? Dorsal tergites and ventral sternites. So they come dorsal and ventral ye dekho ab yahan par ye dorsal surface hai ye ventral surface hai okay to ventral surface pe ye jo aapko aise demarcations dikh rahe can you all see these segments right on the ventral surface these ventral surface ke uh, segments ko hum kehte hain sternites aur ye jo dorsal surface ke upar jo unke uh, wings nikalne ke baad ye aise segments dikhte hain na unko hum kehte hain tergites so, tergites and sternites milakar, collectively we use the word sclerites. So, what are sclerites? Sclerites is dorsal tergites plus ventral sternites. Please remember. Okay. These are joined to each other by a thin and flexible articular membrane, which is called as arthrodial membrane, arthropoda ka membrane. Okay. So, ye tergites or sternites jo hote hai na, inko fuse karna hai. Inko, uh, stick karna hai, hai na? So they are going to be, you know, stuck together by the help of this articular membrane. And that entire segment will thus be considered as what? Well. The entire segment thus will be considered as sclerite. Okay. Yeah. What's your doubt, Peter? They are different or the same ternites and other. Same, 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 same. Okay. So... This is how the uh, dorsal and ventral uh, dorsal cons or ventral cons are here. Because uh, this is a mistake, a common thing that you all will be doing. If they are asking you uh, the, the, the segments of these clarites which are present on the ventral surface, you should know ventral hair, so you will call it as sternites. And if a dorsal pucha hai, you will call it as tergites. Okay? So remember this. Yes, 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 you are right, my dear. You're right, Jen. Correct. Okay. Got it? So, this picture, dhyan mein rakh dena. Ye jo photo hai na, dorsal ventral surface ka, ye achhi tarah se fix kar lena bata mahi mein. Fine? Then we come to the parts of the cockroach. Cockroach is divided into certain parts. The first part of it will be called as the head. Right? So, it's going to have a triangular head, which is formed by six fused segments. So, see, we saw that the body of a cockroach is segmented. So out of the total segments, the first six segments, which will fuse together, will make up the head region. So you can see the word head over here. The crap book, right? So head is a fusion of how many segments? Six segments. But are these are the key points that you need to remember. These are the key points which are regularly asked in your examinations. Fine. It shows great mobility in all directions due to the flexible neck. This means that head is not the same. We have got good flexibility. We can move our neck in any direction which will help our head to move in the right direction. 
in the same way the head of the cockroach can be you know move to any direction because of the presence of its neck so inko bhi neck hai lekin of course ye jo neck hai na ye reduced hai ye apne neck ke jaise dikhti nahi hai it won't be seen very clearly but of course it is there due to which the head movement is possible okay uh, here there is a pair of thread like antennae a pair of compound eyes and biting and chewing type of mouth parts now what do you mean by this word antennae here you can see this word antennae dikh raha hai beta aapko ye wala ye jo hai ye antennae ye jo upar filiform antennae dikh raha hai aapko yeah so it's going to be your antennae ye dekh it's going to have compound eyes now what exactly is the compound eye aage aayega i'll explain about it but basically you have to remember that compound eyes is going to show a mosaic vision mosaic vision ka matlab kya hai hame do aankhon se ek hi frame dikhai deta hai na like if you are looking in front of your screen right now you can see everything as one frame and as not small 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 you know patches correct but these compound eyes okay they are going to be made up of they are going to be made up of omartelia छोटे 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 ऐसे सेगमेंट्स हनी बी का कोम देखा है बेटा आपने हनी कोम देखा है आपने हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक ऐसे छोटे छोटे कंपार्टमेंट कैसे दिखाई देते हैं वैसे इसके आंखों में ओमाटीरिया होते हैं कंपाउंड आइज में तो वन ओमाटीरिया विल गिव वन इमेज सेकेंड विल गिव सेकेंड इमेज थर्ड विल गिव थर्ड इमेज सो दे आर मेनी दे आर मेनी है uh you know structures which make up the compound eyes and one hexagonal structure will be called as one omartelium okay and that's for ana cockroach ko ana aisa aap imagine kar lijiye aapko jo ek hi cheez samne dikh rahi hai agar aapko aise uh, 2000 cheeze saath mein dikhai de to kitna confusion ho jayega so they cannot see any you know like one frame they see the pictures in small 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 units okay and that is the reason you know they get confused and that is one of the reasons that they do not want to come out during the light because then that vision will confuse them during the night kya hota hai vision clear nahi hai right there is no light so they cannot uh, you know actually view the things but at least at least what they happen they have got the antennae which are sensory which will give give them you know like complete idea about where they are moving and what is happening in their surrounding ओके तो इसको हम कंपाउंड आइज कहते हैं आगे आएगा उसके बाद ओके या व्हाट्स योर आवर माय डियर देन हाउ डू दे अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज देयर दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज देयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ देम ओके दे ओनली सेंस इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एंटीना व्हाट इज या या यस आई थिंक यस बेटा यस सो no that is going to be no the neck is not shown over here the neck is going to lie you know somewhere in this region which is not going to be you know like seen very clearly it's reduced fine so it's going to bear compound eyes biting and chewing type of mouth parts so in ke jo mouth parts hote hain unke bare mein bhi aage dekhna hi hai it's going to be a biting type and chewing types theek hai understood so they see it but they ha uh, they see but they can't understand what they are seeing because it's a completely mosaic vision okay yes then yeah let us come to the mouth parts so the mouth parts are going to be made up of what all things the mouth parts are going to be made up of something called as a labrum which is going to be the upper lip of the cockroach then it's going to have a labium which is going to be the lower lip they have got two mandibles two maxillae and it's going to have a hypopharynx which is nothing but it resembles a tongue theek hai to ye dekho ye labrum hai hmm which is the upper lip correct dikhai diya ye ye labium hai which is the lower lip theek hai these are the two mandibles mandibles are going to have grinding region and incision region so biting and cutting jo wo kar pate hai na it is because of this mandibular region these are the maxillae okay and this is the hypopharynx which is going to be a tongue like 
समझा गॉट इट सो दीज आर दी माउथ पार्ट प्लीज रिमेम्बर द नेम लैब्रम अपर लिप लेबियम लोअर लिप टू मैंडिबल्स राइट एंड लेफ्ट टू मैग्जिले राइट एंड लेफ्ट एंड वन हाइपोफेरिक्स व्हिच रिसेंबल्स द टंग दीज आर द माउथ पार्ट्स ठीक देन वी कम टू थोरैक्स सो द हेड रीजन के बाद वाला जो रीजन है दैट इज थोरैक्स सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इट इज गोइंग टू बी डिवाइडेड इनटू थोरैक्स इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स प्रोटोथोरैक्स Mesothorax and metathorax. नाम से पता चल रहा है Proto means the uppermost, meso is the middle, and meta is the lowermost. Okay? So head is connected to thorax by a neck, which is going to be called as prothorax. Okay? So prothorax, prothorax is going to be the uppermost region. So here you can see uh, something called as prothorax. Here, can you see? Okay, then you can see something called as mesothorax. Here, this is going to be the mesothorax, and here you can see the metathorax. So, prothorax or prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. Please remember the names. Each thoracic segment bears a pair of walking legs. So, see three parts. No, उनको divide किया है, and each part जो है उसको legs है. So, we have got right and left right and left is a three on the right three on the left will collectively be made up your six jointed appendages so we have got legs on the prothorax so this leg will be called as prothoracic leg mesothoracic leg and metathoracic leg okay so ye aise teen legs hote hain inme teen on the left teen on the right which will make up six together so how many jointed appendages or how many jointed legs are going to be present in the cockroach six theek hai right two pairs of wings will be present four wings and hind wings four wings mesothorax ke area mein hota hai it's also called as tegmenia opaque dark and leathery and they cover the hind wings when at rest so when they would be at rest na they'll be covering it like this way when they'll be flying to ye separate ho jate hai separate matlab do alag dikhai dete hai of course connected to a point otherwise they would be overlapping right got it so the four wings are going to be opaque they are dark to agar aapne cockroach kahi aapke wall pe dekhte ho na bitha hua you can see a cockroach sitting it is in at rest position so that particular wing that you can see at rest is going to be your four wing and four wing ka attachment kahan hai mesothorax ke area mein hai therefore four wings are called as mesothoracic wings theek hai hind means on the back side right so on the back side we know we have got the metathorax so metathorax se jo attach so that is going to be your hind wings so hind wings kaise hote hain they are transparent Membranous and are used in flight, so they are exactly you know opposite. Your mesothoracic four wings are opaque, while the metathoracic hind wings are transparent. Four wings dark. These are membranous and light. These are leathery and they are just used to cover the hind wings, while the true wings, due to which the cockroach can fly, is going to be your hind wings. I don't know if you have seen a flying cockroach. ने कभी देखा है flying cockroach? कभी experience किया है आपने flying cockroach? कैसे तो होता है वो आके किधर भी बैठ जाता है. It can actually fly. But the flight is because of what? The flight is because of the hind wings, not the fore wings. Okay? Got it? So here you can see the hind wings. अभी uh, during the flight, the hind wings are going to actually propel outside. and they are most help in flight so ye dekho ye aise bahar niklate hain ye dekho ye wala aur inke upar covering hota hai ye four wings ka tegmina ka so ye tegmina jo hai ye hind wings ke upar covering karta hai to ye at rest kaise dikhta hai and in flight kaise dikhta hai ye wala diagram hai on the left side when the hind wings are completely uh, the the fore wings are completely covering the hind wings and on the right side you can see uh, the wings have been you know uh, in the flight mode they have been 
protruded outwards and hind wings also help in flight. Okay. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. Got it, Madam? Koi difficulty hai ab tak? Approach to your favorite. Abdomen. So see, head region was having six segments. Abdomen is going to have ten segments. Right? So this one, see, this, 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 this part. Okay, Sanika? Yeah. Abdomen, it consists of 10 segments. In females, now this is something, this is something which you have to note down. This is something which is, you know, a regular question in your examination. In females, 7th, 8th and ninth sterna forms a brood. That is nothing but the genital pouch. Okay. So females mean the genital pouch is going to be a combination of three segments, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Okay. Fine. So here they put up. Here you have your seventh turgum. So seventh, eighth, and ninth will collectively form the genital brood, or we call it as brood pouch. Okay. It contains female gonopore, spermathecal pore, and collateral glands. Now, here, generally, again, students would make a mistake because the word spermathecal is associated with males. Correct? So, how can it be present in the females is what will come in the minds of normal people. But these are spermathecal pores. The pores which are going to receive these sperma, uh, uh, sperma, uh, sperma theca as we call them because they are going to be given in uh, aggregates. Aage batangi mein, reproduction and cockroach ka jo part hai, us mein aa ye. So these are the pores through we, which the sperma theca are going to get deposited in the brood pouch. Okay. What is gonopore? What is collateral glands? Everything I'll explain during the uh, reproduction part of the cockroach. We have to understand the systems also. Digestive system, nervous system, circulatory system, reproductive system of cockroach. Okay, so when I'll be talking about the systems in that particular reproductive system, yes, I words repeat on But as of now, uh, it's a part of the abdomen, so we should know that what exactly the abdomen is going to be made of. So abdomen is going to be made up of 10 segments. Out of the 10 segments in females, the 7th, 8th, and 9th will fuse together to form the brood pouch, or it's also going to be called as the genital pouch. Okay. And what it is going to be containing, it will contain gonopores, spermatica, pores, and collateral glands. Okay. Fine. Then in males, let us talk about the males. In males, genital pouch lies at the hind end of abdomen, bounded dorsally by the ninth and tenth turga, and ventrally by ninth sternum. So, they go better. Ye jo hai, ninth and tenth turga. Kaha pe dorsi. And ventrally kaha hai better. See, ninth sternum. So, this is going to be the position of the male genital pouch. It contains what all? It contains dorsal anus, ventral male genital pore, and gonapophysis. So, ye tino words males ke or tino words females ke apko yaad rakne. What are the three words of male? Dorsal anus, ventral male genital pore, which is also called as gonopore, or gonapophysis. Okay, or gonapophysis. Okay, and there it was what you remember the three names of the female genital pouch. What does it contain? Yaad hai? Anyone can tell me which are the three? Come on, try to recollect the earlier slide. Okay, spermatical pores, correct. Then Female gonopore, yes. And one more, which gland? Do you remember the name of the gland? Very good, very good. Collateral gland, yes. So just remember the three things of the female and three things of the male. 
ठीक है ये की वर्ड है बेटा ये की वर्ड है एनी डिफिकल्टी एनी डाउट आई गो हेड इन बोथ सेक्सेस टेन सेगमेंट बेयर टू पेयर ऑफ ज्वाइंटेड एनल सरसाई एनल सरसाई दोनों में है मेल में भी है और फीमेल में भी है इन बोथ सेक्सेस दे आर सेइंग द टेंथ सेगमेंट सो योर यू कैन सी एनल सरसाई ओवर हियर इन द डायग्राम योर आल्सो यू कैन सी द एनल सरसाई ये देखो साइड वाले दो करेक्ट योर आल्सो यू कैन सी एनल सरसाई दीस टू व्हिच आर कमिंग अप दीस टू व्हिच आर कमिंग so males will also have anal sir sign and the females also will have anal sir sign right difference is only seedia the yaha par aapko ready made bana kar de diye hai males wings extend beyond the tip of the abdomen females do not extend beyond the tip of the abdomen males would have a narrow abdomen females would have a broad abdomen anal styles present in males Anal styles absent in females. See, anal sarsai were present in both the sexes, but anal styles were present only in male. Okay, brood pouch absent, brood pouch present. Brood मतलब जहाँ breeding होगा. So of course, breeding is going to be done inside the female, right? So that is the reason it's going to have a brood pouch, right? So in female it's going to be present, in male it's going to be absent. simple one two three four points of comparison yes 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 correct sir right okay so here you can see also here you can see ye dekho ye jo wing hai na ye dekho ye beyond the abdomen tak aa raha hai ye jo hai ye abdomen ke pehle hi khatam ho raha hai right look at the abdominal part that is narrow this is really broad Correct. Here you can see anal sarsai is present in both the sexes. Correct. But anal style is only and only found in males. Here, anal style in males only. In females, you will not be able to see any anal styles. Yeah, yeah, they are only males. They are only males. Yes. Okay. Clear. Here they are going to have the brood pouches. they do not have any brood pouches theek hai look at the digestive system now we are coming to the systems morphology part is over right so head prothorax mesothorax metathorax legs mouth parts uh, how many tergites and sternites are going to be present in what are going to be fused where is the brood where there is no brood Where are the anal sarsai? Who will have the anal style? As morphology, we have completed everything. Okay. Now, what do you want me to explain one more time, Bida? What do you want me to tell me one specific thing that you want me to explain? I'll explain it one more time. Batao. Anal style and anal sarsai के बारे में बताना है क्या? What are you confused with? Anal style is going to be exclusively present in males, while anal sarsai are present in both males and females. Okay. Where where this one? No. They are going to be present, but they cannot be seen because look over here. This is a male. It's a narrow version. right and you can see the the wing has uh, you know uh, extended below the abdominal region correct ha uh, here here you can see. here you can see. yes right side yes sanika yes yes right okay so let us look at the digestive system so we have got to know the uh, systems of cockroach first is digestive system Elementary canal will contain of three parts: foregut, midgut, hindgut. Simple. इसमें तो कुछ tension वाली बात है नहीं, correct? So foregut, midgut, hindgut के कौन से कौन से कौन से parts हैं वो देखने हैं हम, ठीक है? So look at this foregut. It is lined by a cuticle. It includes mouth, pharynx, esophagus, crop, 
and desire. Five parts are going to be present as four gut ke parts. Which are the five parts? Mouth, pharynx, crop, uh, esophagus, crop, and gizzard. So here you can see very nicely. Mouth to aage ke taraf jayega bata. Yahan par aapko idhar. Ye side pe mouth hai. Here you can see the pharynx. So mouth will lead to pharynx. Isi liye arrow diye hai. So mouth will lead to the pharynx. Correct. Pharynx will lead to the esophagus. Can you see this esophagus, this tube-like thing? This is going to be the esophagus. Esophagus will lead to the crop. ये देखो ये जो पूरा pouch है ना बैंगन के जैसा दिख रहा है. Doesn't it look like बैंगन? है ना? So this entire you know like thing that is going to be present is going to be called as the crop. Okay, the crop will extend below into a funnel-shaped structure. You can see this yellow color ka funnel-shaped structure. The kai dera bata yaha par. That is going to be called as gizzard. So, what are the five parts of foregut? Mouth, pharynx, esophagus, uh, crop, and gizzard. Parts. What is the use of it? Let us see. So, crop is used to store food. So we know that even we have got something called as pharynx, esophagus, right? And we have got stomach. We have got stomach, correct? So you remember in stomach there is a part called as fundus. किसी को याद है अपना digestive system जो हमने किया था? Do you recollect a word called as fundus? And do you recollect the function of fundus? कोई बताएगा मुझे? Cardiac, fundus, ये 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 सारे अपने stomach के regions हमने देखे थे. Can anyone tell me? Cardiac is the one which is going to be present very much near to our heart. Therefore, it's called as cardiac. Yeah, then, huh? Huh, exactly. That is what I wanted to know. Yes, the top region. Exactly. So, in the same way, here also there is going to be something where the food needs to be stored temporarily before it is going to enter the desire. Okay, so temporary storage of food is going to be taking place inside the crop region. So crop region is nothing to do with actual digestion. Crop is just going to be present to store the eaten food. Okay, gizzard is proventriculus. Okay, because it's going to be before the. Okay, so proventriculus. Yes, 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 yes. You are right, my dear. You are right. What is the role of the gizzard? Gizzard helps in grinding the food. So just like अपने mixi कैसे होती है ना, वैसे ही ना ये जो gizzard है ना, ये जो gizzard है ना, इसमें muscles होते हैं and the muscles are going to crush the food. Okay? So gizzard helps in grinding the food. It has an outer layer of thick circular muscles and thick inner cuticle, forming six cartilaginous plates, which are nothing but the teeth. So where are the teeth present to be or see? Technically, the teeth are present inside the gizzard. So mouth me kya tha? Yaad hai mouth me maine tumhe kuch bataya tha? Grinding and biting, biting type of chewing and biting type of mouth parts. Very good, Apita. Yes, yes. So the part which was helping in chewing and biting was going to be your Mandible, correct, correct. Okay, and uh, the cutaneous plates or the teeth, as they call it, is present internally. कहाँ पर बेटा? Inside the gizzard, and the gizzard is going to actually help in crushing the food. Did you all understand? Four gut के parts समझ में आ गए आपको? Five parts. Any difficulty? Simple. चल, good. Then we come to the midgut. Midgut also called as mesenteron. It is not lined by cuticles. So what is the difference between first point of difference between foregut and midgut? Foregut was having a lining of cuticle. Midgut does not have any lining of cuticle. Okay. Six to eight tubes called as hepatic or gastric CK are seen at the junction of foregut and midgut. They secrete digestive juices. So here you can see these. टेंटैकल लाइक थिंग्स दिखाई दे रहे हैं आपको ये जो टेंटैकल्स हैं इधर कॉल्ड एस हिपाटिक सी के एंड हिपाटिक सी के आर द वांस वो विल रिलीज लिब्रेट व्हाट गैस्ट्रिक जूसेस डाइजेस्टिव जूसेस 
So those are the ones who are going to actually bring about the digestion. Just like we have seen in our digestive system, also we have seen how the small intestine is playing a very crucial role in digesting uh, the food that we consume. Similarly, here the digestive juices are made, what do we call it? Hepatic CK. What is the meaning of hepatic? Can someone tell me? What is hepatic? Even in humans, we have seen this word, hepatic. Related to liver, exactly. And we know our liver is also going to be a very important organ of secretion. In the same way, these particular hepatic CK are very important in generating, synthesizing, and liberating digestive juices, digestive enzymes. Okay. At the junction of midgut and hindgut. Now, see, this is where hepatic CK is located. Foregut and midgut are between the two. Correct? And see, see, at the junction of midgut and hindgut, here hindgut starts from hindgut. यहाँ पर भी आपको fine hair like things दिखाई दे रहे हैं, हाँ? ये fine hair like ये thick है, ये fine hair like है, right? So these are going to be called as malfeasant tubules. So see, at the junction of midgut and hindgut, there are around 100 to 150 yellow colored thin filamentous malfeasant tubules. Okay, so आपका जो midgut है cockroach का, उसके ऊपर के जो hair like tube like you know, structures that they are hepatic CK or uske niche jo hai at the junction of midgut and hindgut that is going to be called as malfeasant tubules. Difficulty in understanding any point, please stop me. I guess this is very simple, but still. Okay. Now see, hindgut, it is broader than the midgut. Here you can see it is really broader. Thick hai ye dekho. Hai na? Midgut kya hai bata? Yellow tube between two hair like areas. Yes. Yeh yeh wala. See they have given mesenteron or midgut yeh wala. Yahaan se lekar yahaan tak. Woh hair like structures ke beech ki joh tube hai na. That will be called as your midgut. Okay. Hindgut includes helium, colon and rectum. Something similar. Even we have got something like this way only right. Little bit of difference here and there. So, cockroach ke jo hindgut ka part hai, it is going to contain what all things? Helium, colon and rectum. You can very clearly see in the diagram. This particular junction, ye dekho, chota tube like part, jo isko connect kar it is helium. This entire thick region is going to be colon and here you can see this is going to be the rectum. Okay, no, they do not have any jejunum, nothing. What are the three parts? Helium, colon, rectum. And rectum opens out through an opening called that's anus. Simple like in a digestive system, they go foregut, midgut, hindgut. Foregut ke five parts, us ke functions. Midgut to do hair like things ke beech ka part. Upper hepatic C ke niche uh, malfeasant tubules. Beyond that lies the hindgut, which is made up of helium, colon, and rectum. Rectum opens through an opening outside. This is going to be called as anus. Any difficulty with, yeah, yeah. Absorption, yes, correct, correct. Yes, but any difficulty with uh, uh, digestive system of cockroach? Anyone who has not followed digestive system? Can I move ahead? Ah, in the cockroach, yes. We are talking about cockroach. Right now we are focusing on cockroach. Okay, sure. let's go to the circulatory system, which is again a very important part. Circulatory system, blood vascular system is open type, which we have seen in um, animal kingdom. Open type of circulation. Blood vessels are poorly developed, uh, but open spaces are present, which is going to be called as hemocene. Right? Seal means what? Seal, seal means what? Okay, so blood vessels are very poorly developed and open uh, into spaces called as hemocenes. Visceral organs located in the hemocene are bathed in blood. Visceral organs would be all the important internal organs of the organism. Okay, they would be directly bathed by the blood. So they directly come in contact with the blood. They do not have arteries, veins, capillaries, 
okay directly the organs are going to be bathed with blood theek okay? hai so visceral organs in the hemocoel are bathed in blood the blood of uh, cockroach will be called as hemolymph it does not have any uh, you know hemoglobin so it does not appear red in color therefore it is called as hemolymph so what is hemolymph see colorless plasma jo hamare mein bhi hai and hemocytes we have got what erythrocytes so in our blood what do we have plasma plus erythrocytes rbcs jiske wajah se apna blood red appear hota hai but in cockroach they have got hemocytes which are colorless cells and therefore their blood does not have any peculiar red color theek hai heart consists of because we are talking about the circulatory system we have to talk about the heart so the heart consists of elongated muscular tube lying along the mid dorsal line of thorax and abdomen it has funnel shaped chambers with ostia on either side so here you can very well see ye dekho ye jo hai na ye central portion mein one can you all count for me see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 and the 13th one is embedded so you know like uh apne paas ek hi heart hai na correct cockroach has got 13 hearts all lying together one behind the other in one row in the central midline of the cockroach from the thorax region to the last abdominal segment center pe ye dekho ye sare hearts hai isko hum kehte hain anterior aorta kya kehte hain hum isko anterior aorta jaisa apna hota hai na waise hi hai ye aorta to baaki ye jo sare hai these are all you know like 13 units held together to be called as the heart okay it's a funnel shaped chamber blood from sinuses enter through the ostia and is pumped anteriorly to sinus again so yahan par jo hai na yahan par sides mein hai na they will have ostia ostia are nothing but openings we have seen in um, porifera do you remember the word ostia of porifera no it does not require all 13 no beta do you remember ostia and osculum come on porifera we have done animal kingdom i want someone to tell me uh, ostia and osculum ostia ke through kya hota hai aur osculum ke through kya hota hai koi to mujhe batayega come on i want an answer in the chat box ostia and osculum ye do words humne porifera mein dekhe hue hain very good very good very good very good very good water enters through the ostia along with the nutrients and it is going to leave through the osculum very good yes very good water taking and osculum water giving out very good yes yes, yes. okay water enters and exits exit me beta enter kahan se hota hai to ostia se enter hota hai aur exit kahan se hota hai to osculum se exit hota hai so we have seen in detail the ostia ka structure also and how the water was entering through this pore so ostia are basically pores so your also the heart is going to have sideways ostia through which yes yes so through which you know what is going to enter the blood will be entering okay from the sinuses they enter the heart through the ostia so entry is through the ostia and is pumped anteriorly to sinuses again so it is again going to be you know like a fountain it is again going to be returning to the sinuses this is how the circulatory system is going to be operated in cockroach theek hai okay any any difficulty in circulatory system can i move on to the respiratory system so respiratory system it consists of trachea uh, that open through the 10 pairs of the small holes called as peripheries present on the lateral side of the body now see my dears हार्ट के जो लैटरल ओपनिंग्स हैं उनको हम ऑस्टिया कहते हैं और ट्रेकिया के जो लैटरल ओपनिंग्स हैं ना उनको हम स्पिरिकल्स कहते हैं प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस 
so ostia are going to pump in blood from the sinus to the heart while spiracles are the ones which are going to be helping in exchange of gases okay so here you can see ye center mein jo hai ye center mein apne uh, heart hai aur ye side mein ye dekho beta the lateral part of the uh, cockroach is going to bear many minute pores which are going to be called as spiracles so here you can see the trachea ye dekho ye jo hai ye trachea hai and trachea ke side se lateral side se jo openings hai those are going to be called as spiracles okay they carry oxygen from the air to all the parts of the cockroach the opening of the spiracles are regulated by sphincters you know what are sphincters the ones which are going to control the uh, entry and exit of any particular uh, you know substance here of course is going to be oxygen and co2 gaseous exchange takes place at the tracheoles by diffusion so simple jaise apne alveoli mein diffusion hota hai we have seen breathing and exchange of gases in which we have already know that how the diffusion of po2 and pco2 is going to take place if you remember those points right po2 how many mmhg pco2 how many mmhg so by the difference of gradient that is higher concentration to lower concentration there is just going to be simple diffusion theek hai if there is yeah it needs it needs sphincters yeah what is the need yeah it needs sphincters for regulation what will happen if there is going to be excessive uh, you know like many a times you might have heard about the cockroach also enter into uh, you know hibernations so that time their entire metabolic activity is going to be suppressed that is the time where there is you know like these exchange of gases needs to be controlled so it's a control mechanism whenever required you know like in excess yes the gates are open otherwise they are closed okay so this is going to be the system here you can see this is a spiracle it's an opening through which the gaseous exchange is taking place inside the trachea right this is the lumen this is the small trachea and here you can see the branching which is going to be called as the tracheoles and that will lead to something called as muscle fibers ultimately winter sleep jaya that means winter sleep okay so that's all with your respiratory system i guess it's very simple let's come to the excretory system they are uricotelic you already know what is uricotelic or shall i explain again can anyone tell me what do you mean by the word uricotelic organs chal batao beta kya hota hai uricotelic very good yes they excrete out uric acid right 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 okay fine excretory organ is malpighian tubules which were present between the junction of the midgut and the hindgut correct right we have seen the position each tubule is lined by glandular and ciliated cells you know like glandular epithelium and ciliated epithelium you already we have done in the uh, first part of this chapter they absorb nitrogenous wastes and convert them into uric acid it is excreted out through the hind gut so of course through the anus it's going to be thrown out fat body nephrocytes uricose glands also help in excretion so along with the malpighian tubules what are the other uh, you know components that are helpful in excretion fat body nephrocytes and uricose glands ठीक है तो यहाँ पर ये देखो इन्होंने मालफीजन टिब्यूल रेड में दिखाया है उसका पोजीशन राइट और इसको फिर एक्सपांड किया है एंड यू कैन सी दैट हाउ द थिंग्स आर अल्टीमेटली यू नो लाइक फ्रॉम द मालफीजन टिब्यूल्स देयर इज अब्सॉर्प्शन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इज वेस्ट देन देर बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू यूरिक एसिड विच विल बी थ्रोन आउट सी एज पीस इज एंड यूरिन एंड पास आउट थ्रू दी एन एस गॉडेड बेटा समझा है ये एक्सप्रेटरी सिस्टम नाम याद रखिए फैट बॉडी नेफ्रोसाइट्स एंड यूरिकोस ग्लैंड्स हेल्प इन एक्सप्रेशन दैट्स इट देन वी कम टू द नर्वस सिस्टम 
it consists of segmentally arranged ganglia joined by parallel longitudinal connectives on the ventral side so what do you mean by ganglions was something which i had asked you in the last class and some of the students had answered me what is a ganglion so yes it is going to be uh, you know similar type of yeah yes yes sarika right correct group yes so there are going to be aggregates right and these aggregates are also going to be present in the cockroach so it consists of segmentally arranged ganglion so segments jaise hote hai na waise ye ganglions are there okay so according to the segments there are going to be you know three parts so three types of ganglions would be present what are the three types see three ganglion lie in the thorax and six in the abdomen okay the head holds only a bit of the nervous system now this is the most important point okay that uh, the head is going to hold very little bit of the nervous system majority of the nervous system is going to be a part of the abdomen right so the head holds only a bit of nervous system remaining part is situated along the ventral body uh, of the cockroach so if the head of the cockroach is cut off it will still live for around one week it can survive without the head for a week see okay got it सबसे पहले तो जो हार्ट है वो सारे एब्डोमिनल रीजन में है करेक्ट दूसरी चीज मेजोरिटी ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द एब्डोमिनल रीजन हेड विल हैव वेरी लिटिल अमाउंट सो दिस वाज अ क्वेश्चन दैट वाज आस्क्ड सेवरल टाइम्स इन योर यू नो एम्स एग्जामिनेशन दैट व्हाट वुड बी द फेट ऑफ द कॉकरोच इफ द हेड इज चॉप्ड ऑफ विल इट डाई इमीडिएटली इट विल सरवाइव फॉर एवर इट विल सरवाइव फॉर अबाउट अ वीक ऐसे क्वेश्चंस आते थे आई मीन ऐसे ऑप्शंस आते थे सो व्हाट इज द आंसर टू इट एंड व्हाई इज इट लाइक दैट थिंग बिकॉज़ इट्स गोइंग टू हैव वेरी लिटिल अमाउंट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम प्रेजेंट इन द हेड रीजन ओके द सुप्रा इसोफेजियल गैंग्लियन जिसको ब्रेन कहते हैं सप्लाइज नर्व्स टू द एंटीने एंड कंपाउंड आईज ओके सो सुप्रा इसोफेजियल इसोफेजियल यू नो व्हाट इज द पोजीशन ऑफ द इसोफेगस supra means above sub means below right so this ganglion ka position kahan par hai beta it is going to be above the esophagus so it's going to be called as what supra esophageal ganglion right so this supra esophageal ganglion called as the brain of course is going to supply nerves to which area antennae and compound eyes so it's going to be in the head region है ना तो यहाँ पर देखो बेटा यहाँ पर दिया है उन्होंने सुप्रा इसोफेजियल गैंग्लियन फॉर द ब्रेन ये देखो यहाँ पर है ओके देन द नेक्स्ट इज द सेकंड वन दैट इज गोइंग बी योर सेंस ऑर्गन्स जो है एंटीने आईज मैक्सिलरी पार्ब्स लेबियल पार्ब्स एनल सरसाइ इनके बारे में देखो क्या हो रहा है सो सेंस ऑर्गन्स आर antennae eyes maxillary palps labial palps and anal sarci palps are what extensions uh, membranes okay so sensory receptors of antennae monitor the environment so the nerves which are going to be supplied in that particular region what is the function of that then the function is to monitor the environment okay as i had already discussed same thing is repeated see each compound eye consists of about 2000 hexagonal omatilia right so here you can see ye mosaic vision hai beta to cockroach ko na ye kuch aise dikhta hai image clear nahi dikhta usko kuch aise vision dikhta hai okay so this is going to be your omatilia ye dekho ये देखो कितने सारे छोटे 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 ब्लॉग दिखाई दे रहे हैं ना सो सेंसर हाँ सॉरी ईच कंपाउंड आई कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड हेक्सगोनल ओमाटीरिया यूजिंग दीज अ कॉकरोच कैन रिसीव सेवरल इमेजेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज मोजाइक विच इट हैज मोर सेंसिटिविटी बट लेस रेजोल्यूशन और एक्यूटी जिसको हम कहते हैं तो क्लियर विजन नहीं सब ब्लर्ड विजन दिखता है उसको ठीक है, being common during night, so it's called as nocturnal vision. Got it? So please remember the word omatidia. How many are going to be present, and what is the shape? 
So it's hexagonal. The, it's called as O-materia. And how many are there? Around 2,000 per compound. Samjhe hai? Got it, Buddha? Yes. <laughs> color blind. Not exactly color blind, but uh, they see a blurred motion. Okay? They cannot clearly have any, you know, like a demarcation. Okay. Well, then uh, that's about the nervous system. Any difficulty in nervous system? Ye dekho, ye, ye teen naam yaad rakna nervous system mein. Supraesophageal ganglion, subesophageal ganglion, okay, and circumpharyngeal commissure. Ye dekho. Commissure means junction. And these are your abdominal ganglion. Thik hai? Thoracic ganglion, abdominal ganglion. So, Based on the position now, that's it. Got it? So three ganglia lie in the thorax and six in the abdomen. Okay? Got it? Which other three you understood? Na? Ye dekho. Thoracic ganglia. One, two, three. Head me supra and sub. Or either che in the abdomen. So then we come to the reproductive system, which is one of the favorite parts of the examiners to ask you questions. Reproductive system ke upar bohat bar questions aaye hai, but pehle bhi aate rehengi. So what does it consist of? So see, uh, male reproductive system is the first one. It consists of a pair of testes, some anal vesicles, accessory glands, external genitalia. Almost similar to human reproductive system, pair of testes, some anal vesicles, accessory glands, and external genitalia. Okay? Diagram jo hai, ye aise dikhta hai. You can see the pair of testes very clearly. Correct? You can see the some anal vesicle. Ye dekho, ye some anal vesicle hai. There are accessory glands which are several. Both are accessory glands. Hai. And external genitalia, yes, are they? Anal sarsai, caudal style. Then, yeah, anal style, we get them most of. Pseudopenis, tiltilator, palomores, palomures. So, talk about, see. Testes, they lie laterally in the fourth, fifth, and sixth abdominal segment. Remember the position. Which segment will have the testes? Fourth, fifth, and sixth abdominal segments. Each testes will eventually give rise to a thin vas difference. It's going to lead to seminal vesicle, which will open into ejaculatory duct, which will ultimately reach the male bone core. Naam ki to similar hi hai na, just like humans, vas difference, seminal vesicle, ejaculatory duct, ha, male bone core is something different. Okay? Seminal vesicles, will help to store the sperms. Sperms are glued together to form bundles called as spermatophores. So, which was spermatical pores in a female way, they are the points through which these spermatophores are going to be discharged. Okay? So, the spermatophores are discharged during copulation. So, the sperms are not single, one unit, Rather, they are glued together to form small circular, uh, you know, uh, spiral ball-like structures. Okay, so what are spermatophores? Several uh, spermato uh, uh, sperms would be, uh, you know, glued together to form a compact mass of sperms called as spermatophores. Okay. Yeah, this is how the cockroach is mating. This is called as, you know, like uh, the mating of the cockroaches. That is how they are going to be, you know, like transferring the spermatophores from the male into the female. Okay. Accessory glands include mushroom gland, which lies in the sixth and seventh abdominal segment. And it's also going to have a phallic gland. Their secretions nourish the sperm. So how we have got Cowper's gland, you know, bulbo urethral gland. We have seen all these glands. Human 
reproductive system. Mein. In the same way, the mushroom gland and the phallic gland are going to synthesize certain, uh, you know, nourishing substances which will nourish the sperms. Okay. External genitalia of the male gonapophyses or phalomeres as we call it. Titaneous, asymmetrical structures surrounding the male gonopore are going to be a part of your external genitalia. Okay. So, yeah, they, they are going to be, you know, like, uh, yeah, they, pseudopenis, tiltilator, left phalomere, right? Caudal style. These all are... Um, uh, not symmetrical structures, they are asymmetrical. Okay, so this is how the cockroach ka external genitalia is going to be made up. Any doubt? Look at this phallic gland. Ye dekho. Ye jo hai, ye phallic gland hai. Can you all see the phallic gland very clearly? Okay, so this is how the male reproductive system is going to be made up. Any difficulty before I go to the female reproductive system? Easy. Let's go to the female reproductive system. It consists of two large ovaries. Look at the size of the ovaries. These yellow color ke jo leaf like structures. Hai na, beta? These are the ovaries. Okay, yeah, it is small, but it is complex. Yes. Right? It's got the oviducts. Can you all see the oviducts? Ye dekho. Ye jo hai, dono jo combined the rene, which are combining together. It's going to be the oviducts. Spermatike or spermatica, as you can see, look at this. This particular point is going to be your spermatica. Right? Genital chamber. genital chamber. These two. These are the genital chambers. Collateral glands. Can you all see the collateral glands? See, these are the branching wale, jo gray wale hai na, collateral glands. And genital chamber along with the vestibulum will form the genital pouch, brood pouch, as we were talking about. Okay. What happens? Where are the ovaries? Ovaries lie in the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth abdominal segments. So, here two, three, four, five, six, five segments ki jitri space hai na, utna ye ovaries occupy kar rahe. Right? Each ovary is formed of eight ovarian tubules, which are called as ovarioles, containing a chain of developing ova. So, I hope you all remember about the uh, formation of the grafton follicle in human ovary, primordial follicle, primary follicle, then it's going to get converted into the uh, graphene follicle. So, sorry, developing case stages in the same way, even the ovary of the uh, female cockroach will be showing developing stages of the ova, developing ova. Hmm? Oviducts of each ovary unite into a single median oviduct, which is considered as the vagina which opens into the genital chamber. So here you can see again, I'm showing you the formation of the genital chamber, this thing. So it's ultimately opening into the genital chamber. Right? A pair of spermatike is present in the sixth segment, which opens into the genital chamber. So here you can see the spermatike, right? Which is opening into the genital chamber. So this genital chamber is Oviducts open hote hai, aur se ye spermatica open ho hai, into the genital chamber. Sperms are transferred through spermatophores, that is the glued part. Their fertilized eggs are encased inside kuthike, which is a dark reddish brown capsule. Matlab kya? Once the uh, eggs get fertilized by the transfer of the uh, spermatophores, okay? Then they will get encased. Encased ka matlab kya hai? They will get a covering. They will be covered with something called as uthike. Okay? And that particular uthike, kitne hote hai dekho? So the females lay around 9 to 10 uthike 
each uthike will contain around 14 to 16 eggs matlab at one go at one go how many cockroaches can be born out of it by one copulation how many cockroaches ka birth hone ke chances hai dekho agar 10 uthike lete hai and 15 eggs lete hai come on calculate one UTK will contain 15 fertilized eggs. So 10 will contain how many? So how many cockroaches can be born exactly? So at one population, you can have around 140 to 160 cockroaches. You see, cockroaches ka population is not zyada hai. Nahi lag hai tumhe? Huh? Cockroach ka population is not zyada kyun hota hai? Ye dekho. Right? You can see this. This is your UTK. This is, this is going to be an expanded. <laughs> These are going to be, you know, like expanded ones. Thoda, matla, bada kiya hua hai inhone. But this is how it looked like. Ye UTK aapne dekhe bhi ho ge. Jaha par spider webs rete. Spider webs. Maha par ye UTK hai na. To dikhai dete. Atke hoi dikhai dete. I don't know if you have seen in movies or something like that. Way. Generally, you know, like you are, you, the, the house is closed for several months and when you open the house, na, that time you will see a lot of uh, spiders web you are in there. And inside that web, you will be, uh, you know, you can see this uh, UTK being uh, trapped. Fine. So this is how is the increasing population of cockroaches. Yeah. Look at the development, Peter. The so development of Periplanata americana is porometabolous, that is, development through the nymphal stage. What do you mean by porometabolous? There will be egg capsule, that UTK will be broken, a nymph will come out. From the nymph, then there is going to be, you know, like molting taking place. Okay? Molting means what? Uh, they they, they uh, come out of their skin again and again. They make new skin, they throw away their old skin. And this molting will be taking place 13 times before the cockroach becomes an adult. So, you know, it has to mold 13 times. It has to change it 13 times. Skin for 13 times. Even the snake shows molting. Snakes the molting they have. It also, you know, like when the snakes will mold, na, uski jo purani skin hai na, wo padi rehti hai. It appears exactly like a skin. Uh, it appears exactly like a snake. With the color, everything shining very brightly and all. But it's just the skin. I don't know if you have ever had an opportunity to look at the uh, skin of the, molded skin of the snakes. Dekhi hai kisi ne? I had seen, like last year only, I had been to my native place na. So I was just walking around and I could see a snake come molded skin. Yeah, even in my village only I saw. Not over here, of course. Movie me dekha hai. Movie me mene to real me dekha hai. But you know, like it's a bit scary. I still have such a snake hai wahan par. You saw it in a way? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I thought it's a snake actually. Then when I looked at it, na, it was like only the skin, a molded skin. But it has got a typical demarcation tha, ko jaise snake ke upar rehe rehe na, color combination tha, uh, kya kehte hai, ek uh, particular design, wo same dikti hai wo skin pe. Anyway, so name look uh, exactly like adults, they mold 13 times to reach the adult stage. See? Yes, 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 Krishna, you are right with that. The next to last nipple stage uh, has wing pads, but they do not have wings. Wing pads hai, lekin wings nahi hote hai. An adult cockroach will have wings. So what is the difference between the nymphal cockroach and the adult cockroach? Nymphal cockroach will undergo 13 moldings to give rise to an adult cockroach. And before getting converted, before the uh, 13th mold, which uh, is stage cockroach ka banta hai, it will have wing pads, but no wings are present. But adult cockroaches will have proper wings. Okay? Got it? Here you can see. See. Ye dekho. Ye purane wale skin ko chhod ke bahar aa raha hai dekho. Ye bhi dekho. They are coming out. These are your uh, lintel stages. 
okay and last for the cockroaches economic importance what is the point that economically unka kya role hai they are pests because they destroy food and they contaminate it with smelly excreta it's so yeah and that is the reason you know like you should not eat anything outside which you are not sure of because we really don't know what the exact scene is all about hai na so they contaminate it with their smelly excreta that means they excrete out in the food okay they also transmit bacterial diseases like cholera typhoid and tuberculosis so they are responsible as carriers okay they'll carry these um, pathogens uh, from one place and they may you know like reach the food or the water and make it contaminated and if we consume that contaminated food or water obviously we are going to be the victims of these uh, water borne diseases or food borne diseases right so this is all about the cockroach cockroach is going to be a part of your syllabus my dears so kindly do not neglect cockroach ensure that whatever see i have taken all the key points i have taken all the key points in this isme kaisa hai na ki if you try to read the content na it becomes too long but what are the things that are precisely going to be asked or have been asked in your previous neat question papers to the point precisely point wise yahan par maine Uh, mentioned kiya hua hai along with of course the diagrams so that's all for the cockroach that you have to remember okay what's the economic importance of who mosquitoes mosquitoes ka economic importance it's going to be a food chain mein uska role aata hai for survival of the lizards lizards ka role is food chain to be survived by the uh, frogs or uh, even your uh, snakes and all these things so it's it's a part of the food chain and the food web okay so in the next class beta we'll go ahead with completion of this particular part of animal types that is earthworm and the uh, frog earthworm and frog bahut chotu hai zyada tension nahi lena uska to so next class mein ye dono complete ho jayenge chotu hai matlab bas important points ko humne cover up karna hai okay yeah yeah they are economically important bhi uh, technically we don't <laughs> yeah technically we don't uh, get any uh, what we say uh, monetary benefits out of it but we can save our health when we know the effects of it okay excreta would be in the form of uh, see uric acid also and in the form of certain paste like pellets also ठीक है got it chat so see you all uh, on next saturday to complete this animal types part that is earth worm and uh, frog okay bye see you all have a nice weekend yeah bye bye it is not seen with our naked eyes you can see it if you see it very precise <laughs> okay bye 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 dear bye